from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. A record number of resignations from St. John's County school employees as the district and teachers union remain in limbo over pay negotiations. Files show more than 130 employees turned in their resignations this month. That is a record number of departures for the end of a school year, even after the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joining us live from Beachside High School, which just opened this year. Joe, what does this mean for classrooms in the district? Well, Michelle Dillon is the president of the teachers union, and she says uh, the district has already been dealing with uh, a teacher shortage like a lot of districts in Florida have uh, roughly about 50 to 70 somewhere in there. Uh, a number of vacancies. We don't have the exact number of, uh, of vacancies yet today, but she says that deficit really any deficit creates logistical issues in the school with people trying to cover that extra work. The month of May usually sees an influx of end of the school year resignations, retirements and reassignments. But in St. John's County's district this year, that influx is bigger than usual. Records show 137 employees gave notice that they won't be returning this summer. That's the highest that number has been for the past several years, even outpacing the difficult and chaotic school years during the COVID-19 pandemic. Resignations increased nearly 30% over last year and more than 45% percent over the year before. One likely contributing factor is the current state of negotiations between the district and the local teachers union. The two hit an impasse in talks over pay and working conditions late last year, and that has delayed the approval of the payment structure for teachers based on the years of experience they have, also known as the placement schedule. That you know the placement schedule needs to be improved and uh, that'll re help recruit people. Uh, but not having that in place right now is obviously going to inhibit the ability to, to recruit teachers. That recruitment is vital, especially as the state of Florida grapples with a historic shortage of teachers already. Michelle Dillon heads the St. John's Education Association and says those vacancies leave a mark. But if I'm being honest, that that workload falls on all the other colleagues on the grade level or in the department trying to do the very best they can, not only for their own class, but for that the class that's missing a teacher. Dylan said it's important to learn why employees are leaving. Vogel posits it's likely because of other districts offering more money for teachers who have many years of experience under their belt. And there's a sort of a like a, a feeling of a lack of respect, maybe uh, that salary compression from the bottom up uh, has affected pay. Uh, but also people are looking at the just the cost of living in general. And we are saying something has got to be done to keep teachers in the classroom in St. John's County. So ultimately we want our voices to be heard this year and for years to come. Now the school district, a spokesperson for the school district said the district has actually been working to early hire people for this coming school year since this last February. So there is an effort to, to try to fill those vacancies. Uh, she, uh, the spokesperson also mentioned that as new schools open up, including uh, Beachside High uh, back here, that creates new positions and makes this problem even more difficult to solve. Uh, now, uh, the two sides, the district and the teachers union, are set to sit down uh, and argue their case before a special magistrate to try to end that impasse on May 22nd. Ultimately, though, it's the school board that has the final say over how teachers are paid. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station. Joe, thank you.